Tonight, a heartbroken mom is demanding answers after her daughter died from an incident as she was waiting for her arraignment in court. 23-year-old Chelsea Hugel was in custody at 36th District Court Detention Center in Detroit when she attempted suicide and was later pronounced dead. Her mother claimed she had reported Chelsea's mental health issues. She tells 7 News Detroit reporter Brett Cast more should have been done to prevent this tragedy. Well, September 17th that Chelsea Hugel was taken from Wayne County Jail here to the 36th District Court for her arraignment, but sadly it never happened, and now the court says changes are coming. Obviously, she wasn't watched in there, so just way too young. For two weeks, Rebecca Fant has been mourning the loss of her 23-year-old daughter, Chelsea Hugel, while struggling to learn how it happened. Tell me a little bit about your daughter. Um, Chelsea, <laughs> stubborn girl, very smart. Um, she had three children, one and a half, two and a half, three and a half. Rebecca says her daughter battled with mental illness and drug addiction. She was recently charged with operating a stolen vehicle and fleeing police, and she was arrested again after cutting off her tether. While in custody at 36 District Court, waiting to be arraigned, she took her own life. It shocked me, and because of the fact that I reported her mental illnesses and some drug addiction, that they weren't watching her. The court claims they weren't aware of her mental health concerns and say security officers checked her every 15 to 20 minutes adding in a statement, quote, tragically between two of those checks, the detainee used a cord from a payphone in attempt to take her own life. Chelsea died at the hospital. For them not to notice and leave her in a cell with a phone in the first place. The court says in response to the incident, they're now adding extra cameras to the area and the payphone cords have all been removed, adding, quote, this incident has deeply affected everyone at the court. We are profoundly saddened by this loss and our deepest condolences go out to the individual's family and loved ones during this incredibly difficult time. Those three kids now just because someone didn't do their job have to grow up without a mother. And then I have five kids here that don't have their sister and they don't understand. So just one person's job could have made that difference. And Rebecca says at first she got conflicting answers about what happened and hopes to learn more about her daughter's death. In downtown Detroit, I'm Brett Tast, 7 News, Detroit. Anyone experiencing thoughts of suicide or mental health issues can call or text the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline at 988. Help is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week.